I am doing a giveaway for Trade Portal 500,000 gold and 1,000 energy. To enter the giveaway, you need to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment your account ID in the comments. Hello, welcome to the Great Storm Guide. This event has Force of Storm and Storm Resistance. If you are fighting against enemies with high Force of Storm, you need high Storm Resistance, otherwise you will take too much damage. In the inner circle, there is enemies with high Force of Storm, and the outer one has low resistance. So clear the outside path first, and while you do that, look for chests. So zigzag until you see a chest is nearby, and if you think it's on the outer path, then go take it. If the chest is on the inner path, then take it later. I would only take the buff on 13, and choose the one that increases physical and magic power. It's possible to skip these battles, so press escape on keyboard, or pause signal in top right corner, then press skip battle, that way you can save time. There is three mini bosses, but they are fairly easy to beat. Two of them is the same, Shavarnak, that applies a stun to the first two or three heroes. You can stop this by using Sebastian or Chorus as the combat pet. The second mini boss is King Kornak. He will throw a bomb that does physical damage. You can activate armor buff right before the bomb hits. But in general, all of these battles is easy, so you can just use your main team. And hopefully that has Sebastian in it, because he is the best hero in the game. I would try to do the boss when you have 180 or more resistance. The boss will spawn enemies from both sides. Isaac is a decent tank here, and the furthest back, Marfa is a good hero also. If you are not max level, you can make this event easier by leveling up. Since the enemy will stay the same level, and you are higher level, you gain a huge advantage. For the shop there is no bad buys. If you want Chaos Particles, then buying Storm Legacy is good. And if you want Soul Stones, then buying Soul Stone Chest is good also. Buying gems is okay too, but don't buy the ones you can get from Adventure that you are currently doing. And it's possible to not do the event at all, just gather all your moves and wait for the event to end. 750 coins is one Storm Legacy chest. If you do choose to play the event, you should try to keep a low number of coins, since 1 to 750 coins both provide one chest, so you can get one chest very cheap. Same goes for gifts from guildmates. If you keep them in mailbox until the event is done, then you can get cheaper chests there too. This is the current two Mysterious Island maps. Please share this video with your guild and server.